Determining the start value for gold, platinum, and diamond floor. Value parts. Gold needs six A's. Platinum needs six A's and one B. And diamond needs five A's and two B's. Restricted elements equal five tenths off the start value. No value part and no special requirement credit. In gold, that means no B twisting saltos and no C's or higher. In platinum, it's no C acro value parts and no D's or higher. And in diamond, there's a max of one D allowed and no E's. Special requirement number one for gold is a minimum of two directly connected flight elements. For platinum is a minimum of two directly connected flight elements with an A or a B salto. And diamond is two separate flight passes, each with a minimum of two directly connected flight elements or one acro flight pass with two directly connected flight elements and one separate isolated C salto. Additional elements receiving A credit from groups three, four, and five are a headstand at gold, a handstand marked at vertical at gold, a backward roll with the added variation of a backward roll to the push-up shape for gold, platinum, and diamond, and a bridge kickover from standing or lying position at gold. Special requirement number two for gold is a second connection with a minimum of two directly connected flight elements or one aerial or salto. For platinum, it's a second connection with a minimum of two directly connected flight elements or one B salto. And for diamond, two different saltos, isolated or in connection. One must be a B and it may be included in special requirement number one. Special requirements number one and number two may not be combined in the same pass for gold and platinum, and a dive roll does not fulfill flight requirement. In Excel, acroflight elements with hand support are eligible to receive value part credit regardless of the number of times performed provided the pass connection is different. For example, if pass one is a round off back handspring and pass two is a round off back handspring back handspring in the gold division, this would meet special requirement one and two because the passes are different. Special requirement number three is a dance passage with a minimum of two different elements from group one directly or indirectly connected, one of which is a leap with a minimum of 120 degrees cross or side split for gold and 155 degrees cross or side split for platinum and diamond. Additional elements from group one that will receive a value part is a leg swing hop with the free leg at horizontal or above for gold and a chasse with a full turn which is an added variation of the passe hop full for gold platinum and diamond leap qualifications a split leap may be cross meaning front to back or side which is split or straddle special requirement credit would be awarded in the cross position if the front leg is extended for dance passages of two leaps when at least one leap finishes with the front leg extended and with the rear leg in stag position with the front leg extended special requirement would not be awarded for a stride leap forward with a change of legs to the wolf position special requirement number four is a turn a minimum of a full turn on one foot for gold and platinum, and a minimum of a B turn on one foot for diamond. When a turn is missing one to 44 degrees, award the value part and deduct 05 to 1 tenth for incomplete turn. Missing 45 to 89 degrees, award the value part and deduct 15 to 2 tenths for incomplete. And missing 90 degrees or more, Award the value part for the performed skill. Split leaps and jumps. 
Up to two-tenths insufficient split is applied when one to 20 degrees of the required split angle is missing in gold, platinum, and diamond. Award the value part and special requirement credit. Lower value part or no value part credit is applied if the split is more than 20 degrees from the required split angle in the division. B, C, and D leaps and jumps that require a 180 split must be a minimum of 135 split to receive credit. B leaps and jumps or higher that reach the minimum of 135 and the division requirement, the value part will be awarded and no insufficient split deduction is taken. Here you can see the split angles and deductions. For gold, the requirement is 120 degrees. 100 degrees to 119 degrees would receive value part credit and up to two tenths deduction for insufficient split. Less than 100 degrees would not receive value part credit. For platinum and diamond, the requirement is 155 degrees. 135 degrees to 154 degrees would receive credit with up to two tenths deduction for insufficient split. Less than 135 degrees would not receive value part credit. Dance connection reminders. Elements may be directly or indirectly connected. An indirect connection allows running steps, small hops, skips, chasses, assemblés, or turns on one or two feet between dance elements. No pauses or stops are allowed within the dance passage. A plié is allowed if there is no pause or stop. And acro elements or restricted dance elements between the dance elements would break the dance passage. Group one leaps, jumps, or hops in dance passages may land on one or two feet on the first, second, or last element. Rebounding out of a leap or jump is allowed as it is not a pause or a stop. The second or last element may land in prone or split position. Acro connection reminders. An acro pass is defined as one or more acro elements. Two or more elements must be directly connected, and two or more saltos may be directly or indirectly connected with flight elements with hand support. An acro pass is broken and not eligible to fulfill special requirements if there are stops between elements, a loss of balance causing a stop between elements, repositioning of the support leg, extra steps, hops, or jumps between elements, performing a kick between elements if the leg swing forward is higher than 45 degrees, or performing a dance element within an acro pass. Acro flight elements without hand support that are not considered saltos include aerials, salto-like elements landing in a sitting, prone, or split sit position, and number 7101 side salto, which is a takeoff forward from one or two legs, salto sideward in a tucked pike or stretched position. A one foot takeoff of this element will appear as an aerial or side salto, but it will not be considered a salto for special requirement purposes. Common deductions for dance execution that are the same in Excel, compulsory, and optionals are insufficient split position up to two tenths, legs not parallel to the floor in a split or straddle leap or jump up to two tenths, insufficient height on leaps, jumps, and hops up to two tenths, incorrect body posture and alignment during dance skills up to one tenth, and failure to land with feet or legs together on leaps or jumps that land on two feet up to one tenth. Common deductions for acro execution that are the same for XL, compulsory, and optionals include insufficient height of aerials or flight acro elements with hand support up to two tenths, Insufficient exactness of body shape up to two tenths. Incorrect body posture on landing of elements up to two tenths. Insufficient extension or open of the body prior to landing acro elements up to three tenths. And insufficient height of salto elements 
up to three tenths. There are some differences in Excel. There is no extra kick deduction. For example, a back walkover does not kick over on the first try. Do not take an extra kick deduction, only apply execution deductions. Additional differences are coach on the floor for Excel is no deduction and for optionals is three tenths. Short exercise, which is a two point chief judge deduction in Excel means fewer than three value parts and for optionals it is less than 30 seconds. And the courtesy score for Excel is 4.0 and optionals is 1.0. Changes and clarifications include the new medium step on landing deduction of 0.15. Landing an acro element in the squat position and then falling would be the squat on landing defined as hips lower than the knees up to three tenths for the squat and an additional five tenths for the fall. Walkovers and walkover type elements, whether forward or backward, must show the division's degree of split requirement at some point during the execution of the element. Deduct up to two tenths for insufficient split if this is missing. General deductions throughout the routine in the rhythm dynamics category would be insufficient dynamics for up to two tenths and insufficient variation in rhythm and tempo for up to two tenths. In the artistry category, lack of variety in choreography up to one-tenth, quality of movement to reflect personal style up to one-tenth, and quality of expression up to one-tenth. Other categories include incorrect body alignment in non-value parts throughout up to three-tenths, relaxed or incorrect footwork in non-value parts throughout up to three-tenths, failure to hold the ending pose for one second 0.05, failure to show synchronization of music with the ending pose, one tenth, poor relationship to music and movement throughout, up to three tenths, and concentration pauses, one tenth each.